Welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches Middle School Math Survival Guide. I'm Fred Woods, ready to teach. Hi fellow mathematicians, welcome to Mr. Woods Teaches. And today we're going to find the quantity from a percent. First, let's read the directions, then the word problem. Complete the table. This is the table that we need to complete. It gives us percentages and types of bicycles and the number of type of bicycles to order. That gives us some clue. Justice works at a bicycle shop. She needs to purchase a variety of new bicycles. According to previous sales, she determined the percent of each style of bicycle to purchase. However, she has room in the shop for only 70 new bikes. How many bikes can she order of each type? We're looking at, for a mountain bike, she wants to order 20%. How would you set that up? Well, let's look up here. She says she only has room for 70 new bikes. We need to find out how many bikes she can order of each type. To set this up, you're going to have 70 times 20% because that's going to give you the number of bikes that she, out of that 70 that should be mountain bikes. Let's take a look and see how that's set up. So we have 70 times 20%. But can you quickly do that? Yeah, I can probably do that rapidly. However, what I'm looking at is trying to help you and have a deeper understanding of what needs to be done. So let's take a look. We have 70 times 20 hundredths because remember we want to turn that into a decimal. We just do that to the percentage and that's 20 hundredths and that's going to equal 14 and I, I could see it right away but what we can do is we can multiply this out and then see it. We can take away this zero here and this zero here and this zero here and that's going to be 2 times 7 is 14 but let's look at it some way differently so now we have 70 times 20 is 1400 divided by 100 and again we're just doing away with these zeros here because they cancel each other out so we have 14 over 1 which is equal to 14 and we can fill in our table right here for mountain bikes is going to be 14 Pause the video to see if you can set up the equations to determine the number of bicycles that Justice needs to order. Welcome back. Let's see how we can set up the other equations. As you can see, it's just changing the second number right here. So we have 40% for the gravel bikes and 30% for the BMX bikes. Now, what's the next step? The next step is to take it out over to 40 hundredths and 30 hundredths for this equation here. Can you determine from just from this to figure out how many gravel bikes they're going to be and how many BMX bikes are going to be just by looking up here? Yes, you can just take off these zeros here and here and there and 7 times 4 is going to be 28 and then 7 times 3 and remember we're just doing this, doing this here, 7 times 3, I'm going to say 21 here how do we double check? Well, we can keep on going with setting up the equation and how I did it before. So here we have this here, it's 70 times 40 is 2,800 divided by 100. And again, we're going to just take that away, take that away, and 28 over 1 is equal to 28. Same thing here, take these zeros away, and 21 over 1 is just equal to 21. And that's it. I hope this was helpful. And remember, to be a math person, all you have to be is a person that does math. Thank you. Remember to like, share, and subscribe.